guys welcome back to my channel I have a Dollar Tree haul for you we're outside we're enjoying this fantastic weather the walkthrough to this haul was posted earlier in the week and I will pin it in the comments because I do not buy everything I see and this Dollar Tree was not only it's a multiple store walkthrough but also my out-of-town finds. I was in Rocky Mountain. I also was in Roneck Rapids, and I found some great stuff there. I wish I would have picked up some of them, but I left them behind, and you're always kicking yourself because, again, I always find different things when I'm out of town than in my town. But anyway, let's get into this haul. We're going to start with Harvest. I don't have a lot of Harvest, but I did find some new items. As if I needed any more fall decor. I'm kicking myself because I definitely went crazy. Definitely bought more than I needed. But this pumpkin I could not leave behind. I love that the pumpkin is gray. And it has some teal uh, in it. I love it. It says happy fall. So this is new. I don't remember. Uh, this is definitely new. And I absolutely love it. They did have another one that says be thankful. So if you want to see that one. It was in the in store. I did find the little turkeys, and these I'm going to transform. The brown color is okay, but you know, I'm the spray paint queen, so I will be spray painting these and adding something to the uh, feathers, okay? Um, but these are super, super cute. Um, I did have a hard time finding two good ones because the legs were like deformed on most of them and they're very frail so the um, turkey head and neck you know and the feathers I had to kind of like fix because they do bend kind of easily don't bend it too much because it will snap off but these are super cute and to go along with them I got these I love these LED tea light candles and even the larger uh, candles flame free lighting it has the flickering effect you cannot beat it for a dollar 25 I love it and I had already opened it to test this one out because it didn't have the plastic piece that you pull out so I just wanted to make sure it worked and you can see the flickering effect and I just want to make sure it fits yes they fit again flame free lighting and it's cute really nice to add some ambiance to your space okay um and you're not worried about a fire so those are super cute and when i transform them i will share because i'm definitely going to do something with them okay and i've been looking for this candle sleeve I can tell why these were sent to Dollar Tree. I don't think these were made for Dollar Tree. Um, yes, it's distributed by Greenbrier. Well, distribution is, you know, they buy it from somewhere and they distribute it. So it doesn't mean that it's, a, you know, a dollar made by Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree doesn't make anything. They buy and then they distribute. Anyway. I can see why this is at Dollar Tree. I only bought one. Um, definitely I'm not a fan of the color so this will get painted it looks like this can fit a Bath and Body Works three wood candle if not it definitely could fit the Walmart candles which Walmart candles you know have decent throw however they um, the packaging is just I mean they're three dollars and stuff so you can't expect much but the packaging is not that um, pleasing to the eye sometimes okay so I only got one definitely this will be spray painted I mean there's nothing wrong with the copper color um, I'm just not a fan of it so yeah only got one because of the way they're made like I don't know I'm gonna see if I can clip these ends off because it looks like you could hurt yourself you know what I mean so you just got to be careful I really don't know the meaning and purpose of that you know so that's that and that is all my full finds Sticking with some home decor, I found these, and these were an out-of-town find. The wall decor, I'm going to be going to my mom's house next week, and I'm going to be painting her kitchen cabinets. I'm going to be putting up a backsplash for her, not Dollar Tree. I ordered it from Amazon, and um, doing um, 
some wallpaper using contact paper. So finally, uh, been down here over a year. She wants her kitchen done. So um, I thought this would be nice for her to hang in her kitchen. And this one says kitchen is the heart of the home. Really, really nice. And they also have this one. I got for myself laundry self-service wash dry and fold now it has like a faux natural wood um, border I was gonna see if I can color in that natural wood with the cherry wood marker so it would match my cherry wood cabinets I'm hoping I don't mess it up but you know I'm matchy matchy so I gotta try so that's that and that's all the home decor beauty finds out of town I was able to find the oil and pour control from nobleman and I wanted to find this and put this in my son's um, basket for his birthday but found it now so I'll be putting these up for Christmas so hopefully we'll be seeing him before uh, Christmas and I finally found something from softy because I haven't found anything and I really thought I got maybe I left it watch the in-store you'll see what I found like a co-wash spray but obviously I did not get it I must have put it back because I'm doing better guys that's why you have to watch my in-stores but this is a hydrating olive daily moisture hair body and scalp only had one left and this was randomly just laying I know there is a mango one circulating out there again none of the softy products made it to my local store so I was happy to find this from Chica tea tree treated flexible foot file I have bought other foot files from Chica so um, I got this one and stuff like this is great to put up for gifts okay um, anybody can use a foot file um, so this would be perfect to make a little beauty basket or a gift bag and filled with just different beauty items so yeah look for these they put out a new Ioni lash bar, and I'm telling you guys, it's the same lashes. They just like Bolero, a lot of times they just change the packaging. Um, so this is Fearless Cat Eye. You guys know I like them very full and very dramatic, so I only picked up one pair. Okay, this pressed powder. I have been seeing this in um, Dollar Tree, um, and I never bought it. Well, the other day I bought it. I don't know what's going on but I should not be surprised because a lot of things are not on the shelves like they used to be I use the wet n wild um, translucent photo focus powder and so I decided to get this one from be pure at Dollar Tree show you what it looks like so this is a translucent and green tea infused pressed powder okay this is what it looks like but it's translucent so you put it on after your foundation um, I shared it on Instagram and Somebody commented, oh, it has parabens in it or whatever. And I did Google it and look it up. It's a uh, preservative that they put in some makeup. Listen, it's up to you. I used it. It didn't break my face out. Um, it went on translucent. I mean, I personally, and I guess we should, I don't look at every ingredient in the labels of what I use or what I buy. Um, so you have to do your own research and use what's comfortable for you. But I did like it so much. I did pick up two so I have a total of three of them because I tried it and I said let me go back now I'm still going to use my wet and wild photo focus but if I can't have it or I'm some you know I, as a backup so I did get these and again it did not break my face out I've used it a total of three times I'm actually wearing it today just to go over a foundation so it's really up to you you have to do what's comfortable for you um, I'm just sharing my finds which way do we want to go next? A repurchase. I tried these vegetable crackers from Greta. If I'm saying it right, I did like them. I made chicken salad with a leftover rotisserie chicken. However, I don't know why they're calling these vegetable crackers. It just looks like um, cracker with garden vegetables. I don't know. Maybe the seasoning. I really, I've had other um, vegetable crackers before. This tastes more like a regular cracker just with some herbs sprinkled on top of it but they were good and you get a lot in it I really didn't think you'd have a lot it's individually packed with I think each pack has like four crackers so I like them Mr. Fuller liked them it's always tuna fish it's always um you know cheese and crackers or whatever you want chicken salad um so I did pick up another pack 
because they were good. Um, something that I never seen, and I go down the plus aisle at Dollar Tree, but I don't go that deep. Um, I just really quickly just glance through. The only thing that I like about Dollar Tree Plus is the seasonal items, and I've said that a hundred times already. But I happen to be just minding my business, walking down the aisle, and I found these hangers, and I needed some. Now, this is $5. You get 15 Maybe at Burlington, you know, uh, Ross, um, Bath, not Bath and Body, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, you can get like a larger quantity, but I need these now. Um, these are the only hangers that I use. They take up less space. They're non-slip. I love them. So I pick these up until I can get to Burlington or Ross or whatever like that, being I was in there and I grab them because I do need these now. And I will go to those stores. I think you can get like a 30 count sometimes for $9.99. Um, I know Bed Bath & Beyond had a real huge amount and it was under $20. I think, I don't know, 50 or 60. So that is my goal to get there. Um, I do have a lot of clothes and I'm trying to take care, like put away some of the summer clothes, the vacation clothes to make room for winter. So um, I need these right now for my downstairs coat closet to hang up some things. So I got those. So cute, so random. Look at these and I shared these on Instagram. I seen these in the box and yes, I did open the box. These are novelty lights and they are so freaking cute. I have to make room for these in my glam area. I just love them. And I think the light is really, really cool. It's, 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 it's noticeable. Love it. So they only had a pineapple and a flamingo and I got both of them. Again, I do have some gold shelves that I got from Target that I was going to use downstairs, but it's just not going to work. So I got to make room for the those in my glam area and then I'll be able to put these on the shelf. I'm just happy. They make me happy. I shared a uh, YouTube short and I also shared it on Instagram. I got an idea of what to do with these um, clear ornaments. I am going to fill these with bath salts for Christmas gifts. And I did the gingerbread man. Um, I meant to have him here for the haul, but he's upstairs chilling. So I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see. And very, very simple. Um, the only thing is it would look better with a colored um, bath salt, but the bath salt that I had was from Bolero and it was a raspberry and peppermint. It smells so good. I also have a Bolero one that's cinnamon. I don't know if it's cinnamon and vanilla, but I like, well, the people who I give the Bolero, Mr. Fuller uses it, my mom uses it. They love the Bolero bath salts. They really haven't had them. So I'm hoping for the holidays, they will get some more in. You also can go to Walmart and another big box store because right now, all I see in Dollar Tree is the Crystal Waters ones and I don't know about them. So. Um, if I'm going to give somebody a gift, I want to give somebody something that's good, okay? So that's what I'm going to be using them. I wish it was a way that you could put um, like Dove body wash or something like that, but I would not put liquid in these. I, it, they will leak. And also, uh, yeah, I would just do bath salts, okay? So I got the Gingerbread Man, and this is a Santa Claus, and this is a Snowman. Perfect co-worker gifts, perfect gifts for people who you know love bath so you want to make a spa basket I think it's perfect uh, you could just fill these up toss them in you can mix the bath salts especially if you have colored ones I've never seen red bath salt but like if you have like a pink you could do pink white pink white like alternate them just to make it look um, festive um, on this part I just tied a bow and Dollar Tree does have ready to go bows if you're not a bow tire like I'm not that great with it but I would add you know a mini candy canes you could also attach an ornament so you kind of like um giving two gifts in one there's so much you can do guys so that's why i got those i was able to find these stickers i seen them online and i thought they would be cute so these are the african-american gnomes so cute and this is santa claus and mrs claus so this would be perfect to put on the grandkids gifts or something I don't know personally what I'm going to do with them. Most likely that's something I might do, but I wasn't going to leave them behind. Did get those. I got these picks. I got two packets of these mini pine picks. 
I chose the flock ones. They did have the glitter ones, but the glitter fallout, it just was crazy to me. Um, again, perfect for reefs, perfect for Christmas DIYs. I don't have anything in mind at the present, but I wasn't going to leave them behind. I got two of them. I did pick up another package of the bay leaves. I got these last year, and I use these year-round in a, a vase as decor. I think they are absolutely beautiful. There are multiple colors, so be sure to check the in-store if you've never seen them before, but Dollar Tree did have them last year. They sell out quick. Get them or just miss out until the next year and hope they bring them back. Now, I have never seen a multiple pack of icicle ornaments like this. Never. And this is the first year for me, or at least to my Dollar Tree. Look at these huge long icicles. And this is a eight count pack. I got two eight count packs and they even had a pack of six of longer ones. So if you're doing something for outdoor decor, this is nice for your tree. This is nice. I think this is great and it comes with the ties to hang them. I really don't mess with the string ties. I use uh, the little metal ornament hangers. So I got two packs of the eight and still I have not seen these at my local Dollar Trees. These were a road trip find. And then I should have got another package. They had the, I guess, standard size icicles that I'm used to seeing. And this is a 10 count, okay? I've this is a first for me and I'm really excited about it really excited about it um for the containers they had these Rubbermaid take alongs uh in the breast cancer awareness hot pink colors um so I did pick up one pack it would be nice if they make a donation for breast cancer awareness you know every time you buy something I don't know what Dollar Tree does random I got this Gildan's Women's V-neck t-shirt. Should have got another one too. This is in a size 2XL in black. Perfect to throw on, wear around the house. Pick that up just in time. If you guys could have seen me last weekend at work bundled up, I don't know what it is I freeze at work. And then at home, I want the AC on. I don't know, it's a different kind of cold. And I work, uh, respiratory so you know a lot of the kids have trachs there uh, some of them are on ventilators so they need cool air or whatever like that so uh, we freeze the majority of us are always cold you'll see us bundled up I have my head is covered I'm covered but it's just like my head the mostly that gets the coldest anyway I said as soon as I see some earmuffs I'm getting me some earmuffs so these are for work y'all look at this fur scarf neck scarf i am loving this so it's like almost fleece lined they had different colors so refer to the in store this is for work y'all this is <laughs> i got a big head y'all okay perfect for gifts but this is for work and i got a scarf so they had different ones. They had the buffalo plaid ones, and those go pretty quick. A lot of people use those for table runners, which you could do. Honey, I'm going to be warm. I don't care what they say about me. I'm going to be warm and comfortable. I even have me a uh, heater that I keep in my car, a portable heater. But this also would be... Uh, you know, good for gifts. I love the earmuffs, love them. They had multiple different colors. They had a whole bunch of stuff. And for I Spy, I get these for him every year and he wears them and I don't care. You know, they get worn after a while and for $1.25, it's fine, you know? So uh, I got him two hats. He loves uh, the screen. I got him black um, and I will get him more because they had gray and stuff like that, but I just grabbed two for the time being. So that is my Dollar Tree haul, guys. Again, the walkthrough for this haul will be pinned in the comments. You have to check out this walkthrough because I left behind a lot of cool things. I don't buy everything, guys. Where are you going to put all this stuff, okay? I'm trying to pace myself because I do not want to overbuy for Christmas. I don't want to do it. A lot of my uh, 
Christmas decorations of last year are brand new because I bought everything new. It was our first Christmas here. And I do not need to, but I went to Dollar Tree this morning, y'all. I shared a short. They had LED lighted candy canes for $1.25. I put up a picture, battery operated, and I bought some other. I, it's already starting, so I'm trying to pace myself. But thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. I will see you guys soon. Have a great weekend. I have a packed weekend this weekend. Uh, we're going to a football game. Uh, where else we're going? We're going to other places. But um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.